Hey guys, the operations time again. Whoo boy, it was a nice weekend. Hope everybody had a good uh, Easter weekend there. And, uh, or I guess the proper term now is a uh, resurrection weekend. You know, come on, I still call it Easter. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna pick up where we left off over here. And uh, that's over here in Huntington Beach. We got the new guy. Uh, he had his, uh, well, lunch, dinner, whatever over here with the, uh, with the girls and Lance and uh, Carl over there. It looks like he got a fresh drink. And uh, anyway, we're ready to go. Let's uh, let's get fired up over here. We'll get the lights on and I think we gotta get disconnected here. So let me grab a, uh, let me grab a skewer here someplace. Oh my goodness. Time for new skewer hold holders there. Uh, yeah, we got room back here. Let's go ahead and uh, disconnect. We're dropping off our uh, our two cars over here. Ooh, sorry for the shakiness there. We're dropping off our two lumber cars over here. And uh, I just went ahead and uh, disconnected those. And uh, we're gonna head on out. Now, uh, if you recall from the last video here, uh, we did a whole bunch of pickups. We got all these pickups, that blue one, the, uh, the UP brown car, the uh, empty center beam car and the empty uh, flat car back there. So let's get it. Ooh, look at that. Got some SPs over there, huh? Good. You know, I, I if I was going to redo my layout again, I think I would base it in like 1967 and uh, do, do uh, SP. That's what I would do right there, Southern Pacific. Anyway, <laughs> oh well. Maybe we'll just uh, get some SP engines and uh, make believe like it's 1967. All right, boy, oh boy, I think we're ready to go. Let's pull on out over here. We'll get all our stuff. We'll head into the yard and then uh, see what else there is to do here. Oh boy, I don't know about this camera thing. When I, when I uh, aim it up at the top over there, it kind of picks up the LED lighting in the background and it sort of gets a little darker than what I'm used to right here. Oh, funky. Anyway, all right, we'll pull on out of here and uh, grab all our pickups that we uh, left over here and then head to the yard. That's all we got to do here for today, at least uh, for this train. We'll see what else we're going to be doing. Now let's see, what is it today? It is, uh, it is Monday, yes. At least when I'm recording this. Uh, you'll be seeing this tomorrow. Tuesday. So a happy Tuesday there. I've been working on my lay. I would have had a video today for you guys, uh, meaning, well, yesterday, Monday. <laughs> Um, but, ooh, there, take it easy there, Engineer Rick. But I was working on my landscaping still. All right, let's back up over here. We'll grab our uh, last cars over here. Hopefully we don't have any trouble on the uh, couplers right there. We're kind of at an angle. Let's see here. We might just have to fudge it here a little bit. Hold on. Right there, hold it right there, Engineer Rick. All right, yeah, right there's good. Oh my goodness. Be jamming the cars up against the stop over there. This is one of those days. A lot of landscaping work uh, today, and uh, I'm in the garage watching some SP on the on the YouTubes and uh, playing with UP down here. Oh my goodness sakes! Look at this. Really? What the heck what happened there? All right, I'm gonna put the camera down here so I can get a little bit more uh, control here. Here we go. Without knocking the uh, camera off the, uh, I was just barely holding on to the uh, fascia there. All right, I think we're good. I, I don't know, maybe I, I got to work on these uh, couplers over here on the uh, center beams. Right there is good. All right. Give a little bit of a stretch right there. There we go. All right, now we're good.
Let me bring you over here. I don't know. I guess I'll give you the big, I'll give you the big shot here. All right, we'll pull on out of here. Head back to the yard, and uh, I can show you my little uh, holder here. This is where I, this is where I normally stick my uh, my skewer, but it's uh, it's kind of broken up, and I got to get a new one. And I got to figure out a new thing there. That little uh, plastic thing that I just basically nailed to the uh, fascia is the inside. Oop, we forgot to change our turnout here. Let's go do that. That is the little roll for the inside of a roll of doggy bags. Doggy poop bags. <laughs> hey, you know what? You gotta make do with what you got over here. Although uh, they've served their purpose here. They've, I think I got two of them. Yeah, I got that one right there. And then all the way over here. Uh, I got another one. It's all broken up by its time. Time to replace that sucker. Ooh, we forgot to run out. We ran over some vagrants. Oh, well. That's okay. California, we spent like a billion dollars to, uh, you know, uh, get the uh, vagrants uh, housed because they were unhoused. And uh, hey, guess what? They're still there. So, what are you going to do? All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow down over here just so I could uh, change this turnout. There we go. And then I think we're gonna do a little bit of sort of behind the scenes, maybe just a little tiny bit, because uh, the yard is pretty empty. We got one big train in there. I think I got a bunch of box cars and like one tank car. I don't even remember, you know, you know the way it goes over here. I don't run any kind of weird system. No, I should say weird system. I don't run any, you know, car card, JMRI system or anything like that. I just kind of ad hoc, come out here, play with trains, do whatever I feel like doing. Though I have been watching videos on car cards and I did download uh, JMRI again and started kind of eh, messing with it a little bit. And I did uh, download that uh, that other program I mentioned. We got to back up over here. Hold on. Uh, what is it? The the mod Maju Ops goofy thing, goofy name. Um, I did download that and start playing with it, thinking about. Uh... All right, enough shaking there, Engineer Rick. Let's. Uh... There we go. Um, thinking about getting. Uh... You know, getting something, getting some sort of a uh, system going again, other than you know rolling my dice and stuff like that. And uh, you know, the more videos I watched on car cards, and you know, and the more I played with stuff, the more I'm like, oh man, I hate. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do any of it. I think I'm just going to come up with a little bit more. I think the closest thing that I've seen. It's kind of like my dice uh, sort of rolling thing was, uh, I forgot who it was, but uh, I've subscribed to him and he actually, he did a video on it, um, what is it, Ops Buddy or whatever it is. He's got a spreadsheet basically. So it's, it's basically an Excel spreadsheet. You put your industries in there, uh, you kind of roll the dice or, you know, to come up with, uh, you know, whether they come and go, pick up set outs, that sort of thing. Uh, and, uh, well, you know, I, that's kind of, that's what I was doing with my, um, with my dice rolling and, and so forth. And, uh, I think that's kind of the easiest thing to do, you know? Um, so I might be playing around with that a little bit. We're going to come over here, all the way back here to this end of the yard. And I'm going to drink my tea while we uh, drop these cars off here. Anyway, I think uh, what I'm going to do is come up with a little bit more formalized plan, sort of like Ops Buddy, basically. Um, where uh, we can... Uh, let's see here. Where am I dropping these guys off? Oh, right here is good. You know, where we can, uh, you know, kind of come up with some a uh, little bit better operations. You know, something a little bit more 
I guess, planned, but randomized. Because currently I just do it in my head. I just do whatever I feel like doing. And uh, that works out good for the most part. But, you know, it's operations. I always like to have something. Something a little bit more planned, kind of, I guess. I don't know if that's the right, uh, you know, the right terminology. I remember when I started doing a uh, JMRI way back in the day, um, that was sort of to do the randomizing, you know? That was like my big thing. Like I can come out here and I could say, this green car and this blue car are gonna go to, oh, I'm looking around, uh, they're gonna go to, you know, whatever industry, you know? Um, and I guess that just sort of kind of takes the randomness out of it, you know? Um, which is why I like doing my uh, my little dice thing because uh, you know I roll the dice and I and I see where those cars are gonna go and then uh, and then I gotta put together a train with uh, you know I, I get to do some yard work with you know multiple trains going to different spots and that kind of thing and. And, and the dice roll is what gives it that sort of randomness, you know, that I'm, I'm sort of surprised. Oh, you know, I gotta go figure out how to put these cars together now. And, uh, you know, it's, it's sometimes when you just do it in your head, sort of ad hoc, um, you, you lose that randomness and that sort of, I guess, uh, what do you call it? You know, kind of like, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say the surprise, you know what I mean? Because like, I, if I come up with it in my head, I'm not surprised, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm kind of shooting for. I want that surprise. I want to be like, uh, oh, you know, we like a puzzle, you know what I mean? Like if you knew where all the pieces went and you just dumped them all out and you, well, you still got, you know, you got to grab the pieces and put them where they go, but you already know where they kind of go, as opposed to you throw all the pieces out and you gotta figure out where they gotta go. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if that makes sense, but... Wow, oh my. A lot of babbling here for a, uh, well, it's a Monday evening, or Monday... Monday, yeah, it is Monday evening. What time is it here? It is almost 6.45 p.m. here, Pacific time. It's so weird because it's so light out. I'm never gonna get used to this time-changing, time-shifting time stuff. I hate it. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and shut down right here. Okay, there we go. So now then, let me uh, let me point out a few things here in the yard. So we came in with uh, this string of cars here, so they're going to be going out on the hauler. Okay, uh, this other string back here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven box cars. I have no idea. Uh, I guess I could go back look at my videos and see where those uh, that that uh, second with the, the the one that starts with that light blue car right there. That line right there. And uh, I just put that on before I started recording. And there's a there's a, that BNSF uh, tank car right in the middle of them right there. And uh, I know that that was like kind of two trains or maybe three trains going to th different locations. But, you know, I, I did that when I did it and then I forgot what the heck I did. So, <laughs> so I just stuck them all together before I started filming here and said, all right, well, that'll be one train going someplace. You see what I mean? This is where it's like I kind of want to have a piece of paper and a clipboard with it kind of a little bit more figured out. Anyway. All right, well, we got, uh, we got the hauler over here that hauled out all of these uh, guys from the previous uh, session here. So let me just kind of show you some of the things I do. Now, there's, there's basically uh, two car types where I got to kind of mess with them when they sort of go off into staging over here. Now, you know, for the new guys, the staging isn't built yet. It'll be on the other side of the, where these guys are sitting, but that's why I put them over here. But anyway... The two car types are these gondolas, uh, which I'm going to take my loads out here. Here, let me put the camera down so I'm not shaking it all around. But uh, aluminum foil, a little dirtied up, and uh, my little uh, load here is uh, just a piece of, uh, what do you call it, uh, foam board with uh, a bunch of model parts 
Ooh, look at that. It looks like tank parts. I don't know. Anyway, because <laughs> it is. But anyway, I take these two. So let's make believe this whole thing is in staging, which it's kind of, this is we're making believe it's in staging. And these guys all go down to, uh, or at least the gondolas, they go down to Samford and Son Salvage, right? Way down over here. And so what I do, this is sort of like the pre-ops setup that I do here. Let's see, let me put the camera down here where you can see something oh, without knocking any of the horses over. Woo. Camera's like sitting in the horse uh, arena here. Anyway, so empty gondolas over here Deet, are now full. Get that one in the right direction. There we go. All right. Knock over, uh, we'll knock over Mr. Reagan there in the blue shirt, right in his horse. And I, uh, I call him Mr. Reagan because uh, I don't know the guy kind of looks like Ronald Reagan, don't he? Riding Western or something? I don't know. Well, actually, he's not riding Western. All these guys are English. Yep. Oh well. Anyway, you you horse people know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so yeah, that's one of the things that I do. It's kind of bumping up. I think this one should have went in that. That would have went in that. But you get the you get the gist of it. So. Loaded gondolas get loaded over here, and uh, we pick them up. We pick up the loaded ones, so that's why I switch that. And then what I do, the other set of cars that I do, is these guys right here. Um, so this one's easy enough. Look at that. Load. It's been offloaded. It's now ready for pickup. Uh, this guy right here, though, it's kind of a pain in the butt. What I do, <laughs> I grab the car all together. And we come all the way down here, and I gotta find the other car. Where's my other car? Hmm. Oh, duh. It's over here. This guy hasn't even gone out to uh, staging yet, but what I would do, let me, let me do this. Um, I basically just swap the cars. So when this car goes out to uh, staging, I'll actually take it from staging and put it into. Uh, into the uh, lumber yard and basically this car will be over here coming out of staging uh, we'll put it down on the train and bring it out over there and then uh, same thing with the wood right there so I know I'm swinging this around a lot so we'll, we'll get the wood load right there that'll get loaded on here the hauler will then take it all the way around bring it back into the yard two of the things I do kind of goofy but hey that's the way it works uh, let's see, what else can we do over here? Mm -hmm -hmm. You know what I want to do? <laughs> I know. I want to run my SD40 just for the heck of it. We're going to have a little bit of fun here. And let me see, that's track at two. So let me turn the power on to that. And uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun here. Let's go over to... Uh, dee, dee, dee. Let's see, where's my SD40? Find it on my uh, controller here. Come on. There it is. Or no, there, yeah, that's it. There we go. All right. That'll be the one. All right, let's fire him up. Light on. And make sure our tracks are set over here. We're going to pull him out. Ooh, I just love running the SD40s. Who doesn't, right? I think everybody loves running SD40s. Now, I don't think we're going to be doing too much with them here, you know, because I don't want to do a big, big, long video here, but uh, we'll probably grab a couple of these. Well, we'll, we'll grab our train here, our, our line of cars, and then we'll head out somewhere. I just put the bridge down over there on the other side. Uh, let's see here. So unfortunately, we gotta we gotta stop right there and come back because our uh, our yard guys are blocking that track right there. So we gotta do a little run around here in the yard.
you know, we could even pick up the, uh, pick up the caboose there and uh, make believe like, uh, you know, make believe like we're, we're back in time there somewhere. See, we gotta come down on this track. Right, right there is good. Oh my goodness! Excuse me, I'm yawning because uh, it's been a long, it's been a long weekend, you know. Did a lot of fun there. Went over to uh, my daughter's uh, house for Easter and uh, and then, like I said, today, or in your case, uh, yesterday, meaning Monday, I uh, was doing all that yard work. I'm almost done. I'll probably give you a shot of it once I, uh, once I actually finish everything, which hopefully will be in a day or so. Uh, let's see here, we get that, and that, and that. There we go. And every time I look at my camera, I always think it's kind of dark, but uh, then I look at it online and it's not. Boy, I tell you what, I did so much uh, screwing around with my camera settings uh, over the weekend. That was the other thing I did. I kind of wish I had a camera that did like uh, 4K at 60 FPS, uh, you know, but that's the way it is. Uh, you know, I bought this camera years ago, not, not super long ago, but uh, long enough that uh, it does 4K at, where are we going here? Um, it does 4K at 30 FPS, which is uh, pretty good, but I was trying to screw around with all the different settings on the camera to I'd just see what worked best and uh, you know what was the clearest what was the you know there's always trade-offs like I, I, I tried like several different kinds of settings for uh, 1080p and uh, none of them looked as good as the 4k so <laughs> we're stuck with 4k at uh, 30 fps here And I just got to run my train slow. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Uh, I know we got some, we got some, uh, you know, camera uh, type of people that watch the show, and they uh, they know what I'm talking about. All right. So we got a nice long car line of cars here, and I have no clue what I'm going to be doing, but I'm thinking I kind of want to take these over to Orange. You know, even though we haven't done much over here, um, man, I just, I want to get, I want to do, start running stuff over here. So we got to get the hauler out of the way. So while this guy sits here, let's uh, dim the headlight. Here we go. Let's come over here and let's run the, uh, let's run the hauler with our cars over here that uh, literally, <laughs> I, uh, I think I just ran these out the other day, but hey, they didn't even take the cars off. There we go. Let's get the uh, brakes on. Get fired up. Okay, make sure all my tracks are good. Take this palm tree down over here. Let me stick him someplace else. Ay, ay, ay. All right, off we go. We'll pull these guys all out and bring them into the yard, just to get them out of our way. And then, uh, and then we'll head. We'll take the uh, SD40 and run him out down the orange, and then uh, we'll pick up uh, where we leave off wherever the next time around. Now, um, one of the things I wanted to point out on my backdrops, because I know uh, 
People have, uh, you know, they're like, ooh, that looks really nice and everything. It looks pretty good right here. Um, one of the things you gotta remember, well, I'm gonna just let the train run there. Hopefully we don't crash anywhere. But uh, there's certain spots, kind of like right over here, I guess, where um, it looks like it's going down, you know? So from here, um, you know, because these are taken off of the backyard and it's looking down into a valley sort of thing, you know, especially right here with this building, right? So, uh, you kind of, it sort of looks a little funky, but the whole thing is that I really just want the top of this. All of this stuff in the foreground here is going to get covered up with other stuff, right? Uh, sort of like my little street scene right there, see? Um, and so that makes it look a lot better right there. Um, but if I was to move the street scene, right, you can tell it just kind of looks a little weird, you know? It almost looks like the street falls off a cliff right there. But that's because uh, all of my, uh, all of the backgrounds here are going to get something, right? And I'm going to stick this in there somehow. <laughs> Hold on. Got to do two fingers here, or two fingers, two hands. Come on, there we go. Something da, 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 right about there is good. Okay, there we go. See? And now, when you get that sort of uh, stuff down low right there, it looks nice. Anyway, so it's like, uh, like over here, all this stuff's going to get covered up with something right there. All right, let's grab the controller. Ooh, look at that. Is that Colton? I think uh, I think this video they were uh, they were over in Colton Yard uh, in the '60s and I think maybe early '70s or something. Good stuff. All right, I know I'm swinging you all around. Let's see, are we gonna make it? Yep. We're running through the layout here. Let's uh, let's give it a little bit of a give it a little bit of juice here, and then we gotta we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put my controller down. Uh, we gotta figure out where we're gonna park this guy because normally he goes into this track where this uh, little blue car is, but uh, obviously things are not uh, aligned here correctly. There we go. All right, so he's gonna come in on the departure track because really the way I got it set up here, this is the arrival track right here, where this blue guy is. This is a departure track, so anything over here, like that's gonna go out on the hauler, goes on track three, right? One, two, three. Um, so the haul, or I'm sorry, the, the, the yard guy would place stuff on here that the hauler is gonna pick up and take out into staging. But we're gonna kind of, you know, we're a little mixed up over here. And you know what? And I think my camera's telling me it's time. Time is up. So uh, this is it. We got the hauler coming in here. We'll see him pull in. And uh, I think the next video is where we shall uh, pick up with our SD40. So hopefully. <laughs> it is a little bit the behind the scenes here just getting back into the swing of things after uh, you know the Easter weekend and then uh, we'll see because uh, let me see so Tuesday which uh, you'll be seeing this video on Tuesday but uh, Tuesday I'm going to finish up my landscaping and then probably start working on a little bit of a spreadsheet uh, to sort of make my own little ops, ops buddy uh, thing for, uh, I'm gonna check my track back there, uh, for my little, uh, you know, operation stuff. Uh, are we good here? Yeah, we're good there and there, okay. Right, we'll pull this in a couple more cars over here and then uh, call it a day, guys. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, behind the scenes here. Not, real, not really operations, uh, operations. Just getting stuff ready. We're getting ready for the next operation. Uh, let's see, right there is good. All right. We'll see if the camera dies on me right here. All right, guys, that's it for now. I will see you in the uh, in the next video here where we, uh, we'll get the hauler out of here. Oh, well, I'll probably get him out of here. And we'll be taking our... Uh, our lovely SD40 
Dash two. Santa Fe, who knows? Maybe I'll have a, maybe I'll have my spreadsheet done. Maybe we'll even take the caboose or something. All right, guys, till next time, take care.